Alright, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You. No. Crap, that was actually kind of a bad thing. Or no, that kind of evolved in our mind. I was thinking that this evolves using Battle BP, and I was wondering why it was I actually left this in my deck while I was away. But, no. So, none of these things are actually going to evolve again. Well, this thing is only two, but that already has a ton of Mingle BP, so I don't have to worry about, uh, Shutdown PP affecting its evolve evolution. Now then, Kusanagi, as you just saw, is actually evolved up to its highest degree, which is nice indeed. So, with our pin business out of the way, our daily pin business. Ah, I haven't played this game for over a week. Well, uh, I'm gonna suck the combat, aren't I? So, what are we doing right now, Joshua? Okay, I don't know what that was, quote. But, uh... So, we're over here to see uh, Hanukma to both make Joshua's tracker actually work to help us sleep, locate the Shiwa River, and, uh... Yeah, we're on day... What day are we on? Five? Yeah. I can't remember what things have actually happened yet and what haven't. But, uh... And... What else? Oh, and to get Neku's uh, phone installed with that fancy little camera that Josh was going to have to have. So I actually played through the entire game uh, between <laughs> on my DS between now uh, and the last episode, and man, that was fun. So I'm kind of pumped to uh, play through this game again. Waiting. A pretty powerful dude, Neku. Because we totally didn't see him on the first day. Oh yeah. I forgot about this whole weird deal with Joshua and the whole RG UG thing. That's a pretty good point. It's just one thing you do with your life, I guess. I'm just smiling all the while. Two, three. Well, it's presumably fixed. I'm not sure what the deal was with it before, but... Blah. <laughs> he just completely doesn't notice the whole you call him an asshole thing. <laughs> Frick. See there was something I wanted to do, but I don't remember what that actually was, so no worries, I guess. Oops. 
just have a decent idea of what I want to do, though, with the game. Oh, god damn it. Of what I want to do in this playthrough now, having played through the game again, though. Crap, I'm gonna have to start off the episode of Fighting B. Crap. Oh, yeah. Nice and pleasant pair. Blah. God damn it. I'm always to start this off. Shit. Neko! Neko! See if I can actually slash a little bit. And or move Neko at all. Neko! I don't just have to mash click so that I. Okay, screw this. I just kind of have to mash click so that Neko keeps doing something, or at the very least, if he gets knocked over, he'll. Well, hit his face. Blah. So now Josh gets his light safe landing sticker, meaning that if he gets tossed up in the air, he can actually do something about it now. Josh is not looking too happy. Huh? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm kind of curious if... See, the thing is, now that I'm playing through the, through the game again, I want to see... Such a bother. I, like, I just want to see all the dialogue. Whenever I play almost any game, I also always want to see all the possible dialogue. Unless there are just tons of NPCs throughout the game, which I certainly don't want to talk to all of them. But, at least with the characters I give you yeah, about, I always want to hear all of I always want to hear all of their dialogue. But, <laughs> yeah, it's rare to see Neko so cheerful, isn't it? Who's going through character development? Oh no! I saw the little moment, aren't you, Joshua? What does turn the length of the day when we're not going to have any missions, actually? When we have missions, the day seems to end really shortly after the mission, but... 
without the mission, it's kind of random. Oops, I didn't mean to go there. Thank you. Sushi pin. Okay. Ah. Thank you. I feel I should grind it a bit off screen, but oh well. I think level 30 should be alright for where I am right now in the game. I'm not sure what a reasonable level is for any point in the game, really. Let's sell some of these pens sometime. Like, all of these. They sell all of them. They don't sell for crap, though, unless you actually level them. So, whatever. Onwards we go. Did I just mean that sound again? I've been noticing, I've been doing that a lot in my videos lately, it's, and it's really annoying to me at least. I'm sure it is everybody else too. Actually, oops. I'm trying to remember where it was. I've been missing Joshua's other fusion sticker. Welcome. I have that one. Until next time. Good day. Isn't that, I thought I'd gotten the other one though. I'm not sure. Look how it's fusion boost. Yeah, I only have two. Which means that I didn't get the one. I'm just saying this pretty seriously. Now then. Hey, look, Pina Angelique's popular for once. Pina Angelique really doesn't have that many pins. That is not where I need to be. Anyways. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, I found it, but I wasn't able to get it. I have no idea how you get tech type. Till next time. Good day. Absolutely no idea. How long have I been recording? Twelve minutes. So that'd be all right. Give me a second, actually. All right. So, turns out all the ways. You can actually get Tektite just right here. Let's try to get a uh, half respectable chain battle though. And I'm used to grinding in the post game where there are ridiculous amounts of uh, ridiculous amounts of noise in any given area, and you can consistently get chains of like eight. It's not crap. And by the way, you go away. I'll tell you that right away. Probably just pay attention to uh, Joshua too. That was not a nine. That was a four. I can just die for hard. Could be doing worse, I guess. Testing into some casual battles again though. So usually with penguins, the way it works is it kind of works operating groups. It's kind of weird. But, uh, basically have, whenever they work in groups, though, they have leaders. And usually it seems to be best to, uh, take out the leader of the group before anything else. Ah, oh, it! Just have to get a star with Joshua. Oh, I might have gone tech tech right there. I see, I just made that sound again with my mouth. That is really annoying. I don't even realize most of the time I do it, too. Oh, that's an emo core hog right there. And I do not want to put up an emo core hog, so I most definitely don't want to put up with these things either. Go up. Crap, let's just... Let's not be flying around in the air. Let's just kill these things. Not kill them, I guess. Let's just do something to my eye. I was trying to save up a fusion, of course, but 
if that's not an option, that's not supplies. No! I'm trying to can't attack with Joshua. See, it's really annoying that Joshua doesn't have a counterattack like Sheiky did. Because he's defenseless on one side. And oh god, why? Why do these enemies have to exist? Especially in such large quantities. Oh crap. Joshua. See, now he can recover when he gets flung up in the air, so these things don't kick his ass so much anymore since we have that uh, safe landing pad. Just die indeed. I actually like that one. Joshua's a lot. There's a certain degree of apathy to it. You know what? I did not actually get any tech type, did I? No, uh. Damn it. Two day five. Have I found any noise that dropped tech tight yet? What are it is the drops that fly here? They drop on hard. It's about that emo core hog. Let's see if we can get a couple more core hog noise to pop up. Sorry for using up the time like this, but you know, I really, really want to get that fusion boost. Thirty-three. That should give me a half decent chance. Watch yourself. Just die. Of course all my pins are weak brand too, that's nice to see. It's that very pin that I'm using right now, uh, I'm not trying to use. And you get some really annoying cards. Or card requirements on art. Yeah, lots of equal signs and whatnot, but when you're playing on art. It's actually worse when you're playing on ultimate, but at least when I'm playing on ultimate or on DS, I can actually... On uh, DS, I'm able to pay attention to both screens at once. Okay, so it's nice that I'm playing some core hogs. But I'm not sure if these core hogs actually drop while I'm looking for or not. I can only hope that they do, but. <laughs> and now Pop wins. Damn, I have not actually gone on this even for. No. No. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I accidentally missed one of the uh, quotes. Or I accidentally missed a final little story thing at one point. Not story thing, but a cutscene at one point, unfortunately. One of the uh, shows. Minimoto's Giant Heaps. I missed one. Yeah, Tech Type. Oh, yeah, it's a pin that I just evolved recently. But yeah, still, we have Tech Type, we can go get this thing. Yeah, it's in the episode soon as well. Welcome. Yay. Slow the tight rare metal. Oh, plenty of rare metal. Blop. I'm not sure when I can get my final extra Until slot. Next time. Good day. Anyways. Heat while that toolbar keeps coming back up, not toolbar, the taskbar. Anyways, the place to go is over here. Isn't it? Joshua, tell me things. What can I help with? You didn't tell me that earlier. All right, you didn't tell me that when I came here. Ooh, pig noise. Bah. 
sucks not having... <laughs> it sucks only having audio on one ear. I know audio makes finding pigs so much harder. Open up your senses. I've asked you. You know, some of the really weird clothing articles that uh, people mention their thoughts sometimes. Uh, some of them are actually unlockable, unlockable, attainable post game. This pig sounds closer. Closer, but not close. Open up your senses. So that's further away now, though. God. Oh, here I don't think. Oh, there it is. I don't even be able to go back over here. What's this one person saying, anyways? Yeah. Hmm. Anyways. Watch your oh, you suck. Smile. I'm not sure if I have that pen. Oh no, I do. I wasn't sure what pins I had on this, uh... Save. I had been paying such attention to the pins I had, uh... My main file. Goosebumps. Uh... When I was just grinding pins for 100% pin completion. The, I don't know. Style or Fury! No. This is nothing. The only thing about this that's not Solo Fury actually. The only thing about that pin is I never like using this pin. Because it knocks enemies back a ton. Most of the time off screen, in fact. This is not well here I guess it's not an issue. Okay, let's put that pin in front this time. And this day is just not over too, so I'll just uh, keep the episode going up until the day ends. Have fun, Neku. This is nothing. It's kind of good that the pin knocks him back so much. It's like time to recharge. Come on, pig. I just want to see what this pig drops. Okay, at least we're on normal. So I hit that pig a good number of times that time. Open up your senses. It's not like my sync rate's affecting it or anything. Actually, I need to bring my level back up to max. Watch yourself. This is nothing. Because Joshua can actually hit, hit the pig himself. No, apparently not. I can't click that pig once off screen. Like I said, I just want to see what. Oops, I just want to see what it drops. Are we not usual threads, by the way? We are. Sync rate. What's your sync rate at? That eh, could be better. Max HP. I could use a max, max HP increase, actually. At least defense increase, too, though. Edible. Yeah, it is. I don't need to increase my bravery, I don't think. Josh, I could use the whole defense thing too, can't I? Mm, yeah, he does like ramen. Josh does like a number of ramen things, it seems. And actually, the one ramen that he says is his favorite at one point in the game. You're good as gone. I can't... Actually, I don't remember when that happens. Because I don't seem to have actually hey. ever encountered the what is your favorite ramen cutscene. That's weird. Wait, so... Wait. So you're... 
the top screen. What? So Josh was able to hurt that pig on easy? Oh. And it just... My reward is that pin, but... Evolved. Okay. Thanks. Anyways, with that little time waster out of the way... I just... It was curiosity. Episodes just ever so slightly over time. Yeah, I'm sure you guys don't mind that, though. Not sure why it was that you tried to run into this wall, but whatever. Hmm? And it's ever so interesting to think that the one leading this whole thing, orchestrating it all, is just right in front of us. I'm wondering if he knows we're here right now. Blop. I don't know why that particular noise symbol is there, actually. There's not any real reason for that being there. We'll see that noise symbol much later in the game. But I don't know if there's actually supposed to be any correlation. And there's barbed wire, too. Can't throw on a wall? Anyways. Hmm. No. no. Last time I fought one of these things. No. Well, last time I fought Taboo tabo Noise in general, I did not fare well. Although I hadn't grinded yet, I don't think. I don't know. Crap. I have no idea how I'm going to do against this thing. This thing hurts. Thank you. Just kind of like pummel it, okay? Yeah. See, think of Joshua is. Let's just slowly advance on to on Joshua. Holy crap! Thank you. I could that. Knock a rhino up in the air. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I just boosted my sync rig, actually. Hey, I was doing a decent job against that rhino. I might be able to kill that. Yeah, Scarlet Tate. Hell no, he didn't. I was doing well against that thing, actually. It just slowly advances towards Joshua, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. He's just going to take damage over time. I think we can at least avoid its attacks, and just keep using range attacks. You are done. What the hell, Joshua? Prick. Always a slack red heart, Karya. Hmm. <sighs> Man, why can't people see him? Dream a path to the illegitimate partner. 